Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new tutorial for Photoshop. And just yesterday I crossed 20k subscriber. Thank you so much guys. Thank you so much for your love, support and the comments that I'm getting. And if you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed my channel yet, don't forget to click on subscribe and don't forget to click on that bell icon. So with that note, let's submit to today's video. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create a composition. So for that, go to file, click on new and I'm going for 1350 over 1080 and the resolution is 300 color mode to RGB bitrate to 16 and let's click on create and let's drag and drop this clock image over here let's keep it somewhere over here and let's uh, drag and drop this image over here too so this is the same image that I used on my last tutorial so let's keep it under this clock and let's see what else let's drag and drop this sky too let's keep it as a background right click convert it as a smart object Control T let's make it a little bigger something like that and the same thing right click convert it as a smart object Control T let's make let's keep it somewhere over here and same thing right click convert it as a smart object Control T let's make it a little bigger and let's keep it maybe right over here all right now let's go over here click on select click on subject now let's create a clipping max and let's drag and drop this image over here too now let's apply the layer max and right click convert it as a smart object Control T let's make it a little smaller and maybe let's keep it somewhere over here yep maybe somewhere around here and let's see what else we have now select the layer go to select and let's select this object create a clipping max and let's drag and drop this over here too and let's keep it under this layer and let's right click convert it as a smart object Control T let's make it a little bigger yep somewhere around this size and let's make this layer a little smaller yep something like that now let's do some color adjustment so select the bottom layer go to the filter go to the camera raw filter and let's go to the basic tab increase the clarity increase the texture drop down the highlights and let's drop down the vibrance maybe somewhere around here and let's go to the detail tab and let's increase the color noise reduction let's increase the noise reduction too yep let's increase sharpening just a little touch and let's click on ok now let's do the same thing for this layer select this layer go to the filter go to the camera raw filter and let's do some adjustment over here too so same thing increase the clarity increase the texture maybe let's drop down the vibrance maybe somewhere around here and let's drop down the highlights too yep go to the detail tab and increase the noise reduction just just a little touch yep all right now let's make a copy Control J and go to the filter and let's apply a blur and let's apply a motion blur yep maybe something like that all right and now right click click on rasterize the layer and Control T right click click on wrap and let's wrap this layer maybe something like that let's keep those under this layer let's change the blending mode to color dutch all right now let's go over here create a new layer go to edit go to fill and let's fill it with 50 percent gray right click uh, create a clipping max let's change the blending mode to soft light and let's do some 
doesn't burn so first I'll just go for burn tool and let's burn this part and let's add a kind of little duds on the edges so go to the duds tool and let's add some duds over here maybe some over here and let's add some over here and let's add some over here all right now let's Go over here, create a new layer, same thing, go to edit, go to fill, 50% gray, right click, create clipping max, change it to soft light and let's make this part a little darker, go to the burn tool, let's make this a little darker and let's add a little dodge on the side edges. Yep, maybe something like that and let's do the same thing for this ball layer go over here create a new layer right click create a clipping max go to edit go to fill and apply a 50% gray and let's change the blending mode to soft light and let's make this a little darker go to the burn tool and let's make it dark on this side and let's add a kind of little dodge on the edges yep somewhere over here go over all the way to the bottom and let's create a new layer and go to the brush again and if you are following my channel then you probably know this is my favorite brush that I use almost all the time on my designs so if you want to download the same brush pack check on the description list below so select the brush and let's go for a white brush and let's add a kind of particle effects and let's do the same thing let's go over here on the very top and let's add some over here and let's drop down the opacity just a little touch all right now let's uh, select this watch layer and let's create a layer max and go to the brush and this time i will just go for the explosion brush so again if you want to download the same brush pack check on the description list below so i will go for this brush let's make it a little smaller and make sure the color is black and let's add kind of dispersion effect on the edges yep something like that and let's rotate the brush on the other side and let's do the same thing Yeah, let's make it wait let's get this part back all right now let's create a new layer and go to the brush again and let's go for another brush yep i'll just go for this one and let's add a little rotation yep maybe something like that and let's go for a kind of darker color and let's add some particles over here and let's go for kind of similar color and let's go for a little darker color create a new layer and let's add turn this layer off for now let's work on this one now let's create a new layer again and let's go for a kind of lighter color let's create a one more layer all right now let's turn on the visibility for this one and let's drop down the opacity some more okay, yep. 
somewhere around here and let's go over here add a new layer and let's add some more particles and let's go to the very bottom layer and let's add some more particles on the bottom too and let's do some rotation and let's add some particles over here too all right now let's do some color adjustment so so for that i'm using my mode lot so go over here add a color lot and from here click on load and i'm using this mode lot select this one and click on load now let's add a color balance and from here let's increase a red let's increase a green too and yep maybe somewhere around here looks good to me yep all right now let's add a text go over here add a text Control T, let's make it a little bigger. Control J, let's make a copy and let's team control T. Let's make it a little bigger. Yep, something like that. And let's change the both to a pure white. This one too, let's change it to the pure white. Select the both layer, Control T, right click, just add a skew, just a little touch. All right, Control T, let's keep it somewhere over here. Just add a rotation, just a little bit, and let's make it a little bigger, and let's keep it somewhere over here. Now let's merge this layer, Control Shift Alt and E, and go to the filter, go to the camera raw filter and let's do some adjustments so go to the basic tab drop down the highlights increase the clarity here and increase the vibrance and let's go to the detail tab and let's increase the color noise reduction and let's go to the basic tab again and let's increase the texture too yep something like that and let's make a copy Control j select the layer go to the filter and let's apply a neural filter and let's turn that option on and let's go to the style transfer and turn that on let's go to the more tab and let's apply this one select this one and let's click on focus object and let's click ok now from here let's change it to let's change it to the soft light and again create a layer max go to the brush i'll just go for a general brush now and let's get create some of this part make sure the color is black and let's get rid of these parts And let's drop down the opacity just a little touch so yep that's the final and I hope you guys love this tutorial and see you guys in the next video